Seth Meyers pounced on President Donald Trump's ramped up racist fear mongering in the walk up to the midterm elections, noting the former real estate developer slash reality TV star's long career selling such scams as a vitamin kit determined by a urine test, and a Trump deodorant. Like the grifter he is, he just makes stuff up off top of his head, NBC's late night host said. These days, vitamin kits and deodorant have been replaced by a space force and border wall. And, this week, Trump announced he was sending up to 15k troops to the southern border, because we need a wall of people to protect us from the caravan invasion of terrorists and gang members Trump says is heading our way. Trump and his fellow Republicans don't want voters thinking about their health care bill, or the massive tax cut they gave to the wealthy, which is why they are frantically spouting one racist batch T idea after another, Myers said. In extension of the caravan hysteria, Trump this week unveiled his plan to eliminate birthright citizenship, a right enshrined in the 14th Amendment that gives citizenship to anyone born in this country. Trump claimed he could unilaterally change it through an executive order, something he obviously cannot do, Myers noted. In his racist dog whistling, Trump has had the help of Fox News, a right-wing propaganda outlet that exists entirely for one purpose, to disseminate his lies and whip his audience into a racist frenzy, Myers said. Over the last few days, Fox News has gone into overdrive, telling people there might be more caravans, and that those caravans might be spreading disease including smallpox, leprosy and TB, the NBC late night host recounted. Where is this caravan coming from? Medieval England. Myers snarked. The caravan hysteria spun so far out of control that Shep Smith had to look straight into the camera this week and assure viewers they were not in danger, Myers said, setting up a clip of Smith saying migrants are more than two months away, if any of them actually comes here. But tomorrow is one week before the midterm election, which is what all of this is about. There is no invasion, no one is coming to get you. There is nothing at all to worry about. Fox News has gone so far off the rails that the only sane person who works there has to talk to viewers like children who accidentally saw a scary movie, Myers noted. What do you think about it? Share your opinion in the comments below the video. And also subscribe to the channel now to miss new, interesting videos.